Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, if you're feeling unmotivated, you probably are because you clicked on this video. That's what we're going to talk about today. So let's dive in. Motivation, man, what an interesting thing motivation is. You know what motivation is? Motivation is a feeling, and feelings come and go, just like the wind. A couple co quotes come to uh, mind right away that I'll share with you. The first one's by Jim Rohn. Bathing doesn't last, that's why we recommend that you do it daily. So it's the same thing with motivation. You've gotta motivate yourself daily. Motivation doesn't last, so you've gotta do it daily. If you clicked on this video and you're watching it right now, it's probably because you are feeling unmotivated or maybe just curious at the title, but nonetheless, we all have periods of motivation. So the saying goes also is that motivation is what gets you started and discipline is what makes sure that you finish. You've got to develop discipline, but before we develop into the, or go into the discipline, I should say, talking more about motivation, the inspiration for this video and why I'm talking about this is because Damn, man, it's it's interesting how when we know we need to do something and we need to get it done and we've said that we're going to do something, how we can put up barriers and walls uh, against ourselves in order to prevent ourselves from doing the things that we need to do. But it's those very things that we need to do that are going to have us be successful. So specifically, this particular video and this example for today was I wasn't feel motivated about doing a video and actually I had all these amazing ideas and I still do and I'm recording them uh, in order to start growing this YouTube channel, start making more higher quality videos and, and a little bit more um, edited when it comes to filming and having some cinematography and, and refining the craft and what I had noticed this morning and why, or well this afternoon now and why I'm making this is because I started to put up all these barriers and walls about me making videos and being consistent in my channel. So right now, give me a little context to it. I have a, a weekly goal of uploading two videos no matter what, two YouTube videos regardless. And I've been extremely consistent, I think for maybe like, I don't know, I want to say like two or three months. I think I have like 20 something videos up now and I've just been making sure that I put out two a week. So now I've invested in this nice camera. And I've decided to go all in on YouTube and really grow my channel. So I've been researching again, cinematography, uh, editing, how do I, um, you know, film in the gym, what angles and how do I talk about, you know, certain subjects and how do I make this, you know, more presentable and more entertaining for you guys and all these different things. But what I've really been doing to just build the momentum and create the consistency and I was doing the same thing in my Instagram is just freaking making content. Just getting on here and speaking about what is on my heart, my mind, my soul, past lessons, things that have come up in my current life. And that's why I built such great momentum that's got me to this point to where I've decided to invest in a camera and learn about filming and editing and all these different things and um, starting to study how to grow to grow a YouTube channel. And again, uh, the video that I was originally going to do or that I had planned to do was, and I still am, um, you know, how much protein do I need to eat to build muscle? And one of the YouTube growth strategies they say is to start, you know, make these videos and don't publish them yet. And the strategy is you link a couple other videos at the end screen that are related. So I'll do one how to eat, you know, how much protein do I need to eat? Well, then let's make sure you're, you're doing enough sets and repetitions properly with the exercises that you choose. Well, what exercises should I do? So see what I mean? So these things link together. And I'm realizing, I'm like, shit, this is a lot of work. Like, I'm, I need to sit down and actually plan outlines. I need to think about what exercises I want to do. So I'm, I'm like planning these outlines and then I'm going to film them and then I'm going to edit them. So it'll be a wonderful production. But again, what I had realized was I was like, shit, man, um, this is a lot of work. And I noticed the resistance in myself to just get on here and talk and be a man of my word and stay true to what I promised I would do, which is upload two videos. So it's Saturday and I was like feeling overwhelmed and all this stuff and all of a sudden my motivation just went to shit and um, I, I met this really cool dude um, in the gym and him and his workout partner and uh, I just found this guy today on Instagram and I didn't realize he has like 1.2 million followers on Instagram he's got like 300,000 people on his YouTube channel and I watched some of his stuff and I was like oh this stuff's awesome and I found myself immediately comparing where I am to where he currently is in all aspects he's an IFBB pro so all of these things that I'm striving to be I literally just hired my bodybuilding 
coach as well. Um, and we're going to get started. He's making my plan right now. I'm on a road to become a professional bodybuilder and a professional content creator on YouTube. This guy's already there. And I found myself comparing myself to him and I was like, fuck. And my motivation immediately dropped, man. I started judging myself. I was like, oh shit, man. I had such a long road. I'm so far behind and blah, blah, blah. And I caught myself and I was like, bro, I was like, this, these are old negative thought patterns, man. You already know that the reason he's there is because he's worked for it over a long period of time. And I'm simply in the beginning of my journey. So there's no use in comparing myself to someone who's put in thousands and thousands of more hours into the craft of his body and also becoming a content creator. Of course, this shit's going to be better. And I immediately stopped that and I was like, damn, dude, it's crazy how all of a sudden I didn't feel motivated and we lose motivation as it relates to you. We lose motivation to do things when we immediately compare ourselves to others. Because <clears throat> again, we tend to put barriers up against ourselves in order to prevent ourselves from moving forward and being successful rather than just taking the action and doing it. So I wasn't feeling motivated to make a video because I killed my motivation by comparing myself. And then also I started to you know, plan all this big production and I'm like, damn, I'm feeling overwhelmed. And I let was going to let that stop me from putting up a video and I said, no, it's more important that I'm disciplined and I'm consistent and I you know, put a video up so what do I want to talk about? What I want to talk about is how you're not always going to feel motivated to do the things you need to do that will move you forward. You're not always going to feel motivated to work out. You're not always going to feel motivated to, you know, um, do the things you need to do for your business and handle these tasks and make the phone calls and make the connections and go to networking events or whatever the hell the case may be for your goals. You're not always going to feel motivation. And this is why habits are so important. And I've developed such a beautiful um, morning routine and habit. And it's funny because instead of the workout videos, I was going to do a video on morning routine and how to create a good morning routine. And so I started to sit down and make the outline for it. And I immediately felt overwhelmed again. And I was like, shit, man. I was like, I'm stopping. And I was like, okay, best remedy when you don't feel like doing the thing because you're killing your motivation through comparing yourself to others or because you're getting too much in your feelings in your head, it's just to shut your brain off, shut everything off, and just do the freaking thing. So here I am doing the freaking thing. I'm just getting on the camera and speaking to you again and continuing to do the same pattern of action that allowed me to build this level of momentum, that allowed me to build uh, this level of success, even though I'm only at, you know, whatever it is, 15, 20 followers or subscribers or whatever. Again, as I'm studying and I'm learning all this stuff, what I want to share with you is you're not always going to feel motivated. And the second you compare yourself with others, you're going to screw yourself. You just got to focus on what you need to do on a day to day basis. And especially when you start thinking about things and you allow your emotions to get in the way, you've got to just stop. You got to shut everything off and say, screw it and go. Don't think about it. Zone out. Get your uh, you know gym shoes on and go straight to the gym. You want to write a book? and you're thinking, overthinking about it, shut up, sit down, and just start writing. Write about whatever. It doesn't even have to be related to your book. And I think that's the most important thing is just sometimes we need to shut our brains off and just take the action in order to move forward. And this is the most important thing about, again, how we create things over time because it takes time. It takes, uh, you know, these videos, building my channel, this is all going to take time to develop. And we only get overwhelmed when we think we have to do it all at once. So instead of thinking about doing it all at once, take it one step at a time because you're not going to feel motivated all the time. You're not going to feel creative and inspired like to make this beautiful painting and mural that you've had in your head for a while, whatever the case may be, or this wonderful book or children's novel or this amazing song or getting on stage in front of thousands of people. That shit doesn't happen unless you just shut your brain off and then you just do the thing you need to do. So my intention is to grow my YouTube channel. The way that I need to do that is be consistent with videos. So even though I was talking myself out of it and I was getting in my head about it, I said, shut up here. So you've been through this before. Just get on here, film the video. Let's make some content. Let's get two videos out this week. And then I'll spend the rest of the day uh, continuing these plans and this information about um, how I'm going to more strategically develop some of the other content that will be upcoming on my channel. So that's all I'm going to say for today. I just wanted to get on here and get it done. So that's my, uh, you know, offer to you. I'll never give anyone advice because one thing about advice is 
when someone gives you advice, and some advice can be helpful, don't get me wrong, but when someone gives you advice, what they're saying is, I know what's best for you. But the reality is they're not used, so they really don't know what's best for you. So I'll never give you advice and tell you what to do because you're your own autonomous person here to learn your own lessons and overcome your challenges. Now, I will say there is such thing as guidance and strategy and learning from people that have done it before you. But for me, I always just like to offer the invitation and the opportunity. So the invitation and the opportunity for you is the next time you feel unmotivated is to stop and get out of your head, become aware that you know, you're all in your feelings, you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed, and just go. Just go and do it. You just gotta take the action, and you just gotta do it. So hopefully, again, this video was helpful today. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to listen. I hope it was valuable for you. So next time you're unmotivated, again, just to review, shut your brain off, shut your feelings off, and just do the thing you need to do. And if you consistently do those things over time, you will develop the habit of doing it. And as you develop the habit, you will naturally get better over time. That's what's brought me to this point, talking into this beautiful camera, starting to understand, read books about how to um, plan my strategies and my outlines, studying other YouTube channels and stuff like that. It builds over time. This stuff always comes in little bites. If you try to you know, bite off more than you can chew, as the saying goes, um, you know, nothing, it doesn't do you any good. You probably end up, you know, spitting it out and stopping all together, right? And choking. So you just take it piece by piece, little by little, and just get it done and take the action. So again, thanks for listening and you have a wonderful rest of your day. Would be grateful for you to like and subscribe, you know, comment with any questions if you can relate, uh, share it with anyone that you might find this video to be useful with as well. The mission, the vision is to help as many people as possible with their mindset, with these internal struggles that we all have as human beings, these uh, you know things about so comparing ourselves to others. And I'm definitely going to do a video on that because how common is that? Um, you know, we look at where someone's been after you know them spending 20 years, 10 years on something, and we're just starting out. And we go, oh, I'll never be like that. And it's crazy that I did that because I was like, God, that's so silly, man. I've, I've done that, but you know, again, it was too experienced, so I could learn and be reminded of the lesson probably to share with you guys and for myself as well. Um, so I'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm really excited for what's to come on this channel. Um, just enjoying the creative process. And that's another one. Just enjoy the process, man. And that's what takes so much of the stress away because just getting on here talking about this stuff and knowing that I'm being a man of my word and that it will get better over time has already brought me so much more peace and joy. So I hope you can relate to that and that you should not put as much stress on yourself in order to be a success right away. Be patient with the process and enjoy each step you take. And I'll see you next time.